Hello guys, welcome back to the Goya channel. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss with you about pathogenesis and laboratory diagnosis and the treatment of Shigella dysentery. So let's begin our lecture. Shigella causes the bacillary dysentery and the in main reason of the infection is due to the ingestion of the Shigella bacillus and the minimum infective dose is required to cause the disease is about 10 to 100 bacilli which can uh, which can be capable of initiating the disease because they probably survive the gastric acidity better than the other enterobacteria and their pathogenic mechanism resemble those of entero invasive e coli and the bacilli infect the epithelial cells of the villi in the large intestine and multiply inside them and spread literally to involve the adjacent cell and penetrating into the lamina propria and the inflammatory reaction which de uh, develops with the capillary thrombosis leading to the necrosis or patches of epithelium which slug off and leaving behind transverse superficial ulcers bacteremia may occur in severe infection particularly in malnourished children and in the AIDS patient. This is the molecular mechanism of the Shigella dysentery. So this is the picture of epithelial cells and this is the Shigella bacilli. This Shigella bacilli will gain, into, gain entry uh, into the epithelium cell through the transcytosis process and this is the M cell through when this uh, Shigella bacilli is passed through the M cell and reaches to the submucosa region of the epithelial cell means other side of the uh, cell this there will be macrophages uh, so when the bacteria bacterium gain entry into the submucosa part the the, uh, the macrophages will ingest them but uh, they uh, the shigella bacillus have some capability to uh, resist uh, uh, macrophages uh, macrophage so what will happen the the Shigella bacillus will cause apoptosis of the macrophage and it will lead to release of the interleukin 1 beta and interleukin 1 8 and uh, this will lead to the uh, NK cell activation what NK cell will do they will release interferon gamma and cause the immune activation so uh, and the uh, interleukin 1 beta will cause uh, um, activation of the polymorphoneutrophils these polymorphoneutrophils will also help in the killing of the bacillus mean shigella bacilli and what will shigella bacilli do they will uh, cause the uh, damage to the lamina propria and in lamina pro they will be actin filament what they will do they will uh, cause the well, what they will do they will use uh, actin filament as a tail so that they can use its energy to get into the another means adjacent cell and cause the infection throughout the epithelium cells shigella dysentery type 1 is caused due to the exotoxin which is released by the Shigella bacilli. Non-toxic mutant can still cause dysentery but not 
non invasive one the invasive property of bacillus can be demonstrated by its ability to penetrate cultured hella cell line or hep2 cell line or by the congo red binding test invasive property is related to the presence in, uh, present the bacillus of the large plasmid which has molecular weight of 114 to the 10th power 6 coding for the outer membrane protein responsible for the cell penetration these protein are called virulence marker antigen vma detection of vma by elisa serve as a virulence test for shigelli as for the entire invasive e coli bacilli bacillary dysentery has a short incubation period from which is 1 to 7 days usually 48 hours onset and clinical course are variable and are largely determined by the virulence of the infective strain main clinical feature are frequent passage of loose scanty fishes containing blood and mucus along with the abdominal cramps and tenesmus and what are the symptom of the shigella dysentery there will be fever and vomiting complication are most often seen in infection with shigella dysentery type 1 and include arthritis toxic neuritis conjunctivitis parotitis and in children interspecies hemolytic uremic syndrome may occur as a complication in severe cases the severity of the disease may vary from acute fulminating dysentery to mild diarrhea as the term bacillary dysentery refer only to the more severe cases the term shigellosis has been employed to include the whole spectrum of the disease caused by the shigella now come to the laboratory diagnosis diagnosis is made by isolating the bacillus from the feces fresh fresh feces should be inoculated without delay or transported in a suitable medium such as sex buffered gristrose strain which has a ph of 7 to 7.4 first in the laboratory diagnosis we will do microscopy in microscopy if the patient is suffering from the shigellosis the dryal fishes may contain blood and it is necessary to exclude amoebic dysentery then we have to make a wet film of a suspension of the fishes in the slime this will show numerous erythrocytes pmns and some macrophages care must be taken not to mistake the macrophages for the vegetative form of the entamoeba histolytica because it will create the confusion in the diagnosis which have relatively smaller nuclei and are usually motile in the warm fresh specimen second we will do plate cultures and recognition and further examination of pale non lactose fermented colonies on the primary dca and meconchi plates or red colonies on xld is the most in reliable method of the assaulting shigelli so xld is a special medium which is used for the basically or basically for the shigella bacilli the enrichment media we we can use enrichment media also prize in 1976 found the selenite type broth selenite type broth is a uh, enrichment media but uh, will what it will do it will uh, inhibit the growth of uh, non required microorganism and uh, prevent the cell death of shigella bacilli and help in the uh, growth of shigella so that we can recover shigella sonai from the fresh specimen but not from the feces sent to the laboratory by the post it preferred that enrichment should be done by culture in uninhibitory nutrient broth or weekly inhibitory gn broth these culture should be plated on ma 
मैकॉन किएगा डी सी एगा एक्सएल डी एगा आफ्टर सिक्स आवर्स एट थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस एज वेल एज दी आफ्टर एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर सब कल्चर एट सिक्स आवर ऑफन पॉजिटिव वेन लेटर वन आर नेगेटिव फोर्थ वन इज फैमिली आइडेंटिफाइंग दी बायोकेमिकल टेस्ट सो आफ्टर दी कल्चरिंग वी हैव टू डू बायोकेमिकल टेस्ट सो दैट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दी वेदर द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज शिगेला और नॉट और वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दी डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ दिस शिगेला बेसिल सो शिगेला इज ए यूरी इज नेगेटिव मोर्टिलिटी इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव इट इज इंडोल समटाइम सम स्पीशीज गिव इंडोल नेगेटिव और सम स्पीशीज इंडोल पॉजिटिव इट विल फॉर्म गैस रेल इट विल रेलली फॉर्म द गैस सो इट इज मोस्टली नेगेटिव बट समाइम इट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव फॉर द गैस फ्रॉम द ग्लूकोज लैक्टोसो एसिड चिगेलासो नहीं गिव पॉजिटिव एट द इंक्यूबेशन फॉर द ट्वेंटी टू 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 एट डेज सुक्रोज टू एसिड शिगेलासो नहीं लेट पॉजिटिव गिव लेट पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट मैनिटोल टू एसिड पॉजिटिव गिव बै शिगेला डेसेंट्री वी कैन ऑल्सो डू स्लाइड एग्लूटिनेशन टेस्ट इफ द ऑर्गेनिजम इज पॉसिबल शिगेला कैरी आउट सैरोलॉजिकल स्लाइड एग्लूटिनेशन टेस्ट सो दैट वी कैन कन्फर्म दैट द ऑर्गेनिजम इज शिगेला इन ट्रीटमेंट अनकॉम्प्लीमेंट कॉम्प्लीकेटेड शिगलोस इज अ सेल्फ लिमिटेड कंडीशन इन विच द पेशेंट यूजली रिकवर स्पॉन्टेनियसली इन ए फ्यू डेज इन एक्यूट केसेज पर्टिकुलरली इन इनफेंट्स एंड यंग चिल्ड्रन डिहाइड्रेशन हैज टू बी करेक्टेड प्रॉम्प्टली ओरल डिहाइड्रेशन इज एडिकुएट इन मोस्ट केसेज डिफरेंट स्ट्रेन ऑफ ऑफ ए सैरोटाइप डिफर इन दिस सल्फोनामाइज क्लोरमफिनिकॉल टेट्रोसाइक्लिन स्टेप्टोमाइसिन एंड अदर एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड सम शोज मल्टीपल रेजिस्टेंट ड्यू टू एक्जिशन ऑफ द ट्रांसमिजेबल रेजिस्टेंट प्लाजमेट so there are some antibiotics like norfloxacin nalidex acid which when which we can use to treat the shigella dysentery and some antibiotics are still resistant show resistant to the bacteria so thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe my channel and like my video and share my video thank you